A man is nursing bullet wounds after the police shot him in a protest by angry residents in Mokoto sub-county, Manafa district, against a plan by the Ministry of Lands to reopen boundaries in the eight districts that make up the Mount Elgon region. The doctor said that he, the plate has entered the pond, so they are unable to remove that in the pond. Uh, after some time, they will maybe the first, maybe somewhere else where they will be able to remove that plate. The reopening of the boundaries was intended to help defuse the ongoing conflict over land between Uganda Wildlife Authority and the communities. However, residents say they were not consulted. In fact, we are very much surprised because they said they are going to come and work with the locals. The locals are not aware. That is local council 1, 2, 3. They are not aware. They are coming as if they are waging war against the communities. The LC5 chairperson, Manafa District, John Mosila, accused the police of high-handedness after residents displayed bullet shells and tear gas canisters retrieved from the area. We as local leaders, I'm talking to my people, you can see, and I've been listening. If they were bad, they wouldn't tender this canister which fell alive and the soldiers then are under left. He also demanded police to immediately release the LC3 chairperson of Mukoto sub-county who was arrested during the protest. I demand that the RPC tells the DPC to release the chairman of Mukoto sub-county, LC3, immediately without any other address so that these people settle. The angry residents have vowed not to surrender their land and dismantled the bridge that connects Mukoto sub-county to other areas in a bid to block the surveyors from accessing their area again. <laughs>